Aquarius. Hello, Aquarius. You are ruled by the sign of Uranus and the sign of Saturn. So it's all about structure and rules. But for you, Aquarians, it's really more about being unconventional. It's about breaking the rules. Let's buck tradition. Isn't it time we do something new? You're having this new moon in your third house of thoughts, of thinking, of communication, of talking. Third house is the placement of networking. Are you a ferocious networker? You've got Aryan energy there. So you're going to be the one who initially starts a conversation. You're going to be the one who usually reaches out because you initiate, you start. You're the leader when it comes to talking. And it is you setting an example with your thinking, Aquarius right? It is you setting the example of your thoughts and the way that you talk and your thinking. You may have times when you're in conversations where you are irritable, where there might be arguments because you are passionate, right? It's understanding balance and incorporating balance and self-discipline. You are having a new moon in your third house of how I relate and talk and communicate. This is social media, but this is school, this is schoolmates, this is work and work partners, right? Networking and talking to people. Are you a teacher of little ones, right? Are you going to school? Are you an aggressive communicator? That's Aries energy. You don't want to be an aggressive communicator. You want to be a powerful and inspiring communicator, right? Aggressive communicators, we're like, whoa, back off. Aries in the third house. So we want to we want to create some balance, right? There's a wound about ourself, a wound about our body, and it's conjunct this new moon. Yes, it's a new beginning. It's a new possibility, a new start, a new adventure, and it begins with the way you think. Uh, this is a, a universal call for it's time to do mind training. You can do this. You are the adventurer. You are the first one out of the gate. You are the leader. You are the one that we're looking to, right? And I'm calling you Aries because it's in your third house, Aquarius. You've got that, that get up and go, that self-starter energy that this is my body. I'm aware of it. You know, I can be very active. This is somebody who would be great with uh, communicating with their hands, communicating with their body, being creative with their body. This would be sports, you know, the demonstrative sports, performance sports, because it's, it's Aries energy. It's all about the body. It's all about me, body consciousness. Um, but there's a wound involved here. And this new moon is going to, it's going to light up whatever this old wound from the past was a wound from your childhood, a wound from maybe, you know, growing up in the house with mom and dad. And this would have been a very young age, by the way, but something that you need to process, right? Something likely about the appearance. What happens is once we allow this and we process it, right, we do some mind training of optimism and positivity. How do we take our wounds and make them beautiful, right? It's that clay pot that gets a crack in it. You know what they do with the crack? They accentuate the crack. They fill it with gold. Literally, they take down melted pieces of gold and they pour gold into the cracks to accentuate them because they understand that it is the cracks that we get in life that add to our value. They, they give us our depth. They give us our understanding. And so this is a new moon for you, Aquarius, where you can have that self-understanding. This is a, an opportunity to embrace the old wounds and to do something with it. If you, if you don't process it and do something with it, it's affecting the conversations and the communications you have with your peers. It's the way you communicate in social media. It's the information that you consume digitally, the news, the stuff that you talk to others about. You want to do it in a way where it shines the light for others, where it gives others inspiring thoughts, inspiring goals. You, on an elevated level, are supposed to lead those individuals in your life. The people who are your siblings, the people who are your next door neighbors, your classmates, your coworkers. But you do it by setting the example. Be all you can be and more. Be the adventurer. Be not afraid. Go out and seek. Go out and preach. Go out and inspire. But it begins with inspiring yourself. 